This is Twit. You talk about William Shatner, 90 yeah. years old, going into a Los Angeles studio. Right. A company called Storyfile, right. where they capture him in th with 3D cameras, and then it says Shatner's ghost will be beamed to his family members, to fans via the internet, possibly to museums and entertainment venues, where people will be able to ask Shatner's ghost questions. They will play the answers. So it's pre-recorded answers, or they're generating new answers. They're pre-recorded. They use AI to match the answers with the questions. So you'll have be able to have a conversation with Shatner, right? But this, the the purpose of this story is not the Shatner in this story file product. Uh, they're also democratizing it, making it available on phones sure. and everything. Anybody can do this. You could have it on your gravestone. E I could exactly. come and say, Mike. Exactly. Where's the Where's the mezcal? Where are you yeah. hiding the mezcal? Exactly. <laughs> But but so what are I, you saying that he would really do this <laughs> really well using he's done the it. Shatner comma? Yeah. But yeah. the uh, but but the, my point is I I I, I um, talk about a whole bunch of different technologies because I I believe that people will express their sort of day of the dead like interacting with ancestors. Uh, through technology, through, through holograms. AI, holograms. Yeah. It's already happening, in fact. There's already a Japanese... Well, remember Tupac at uh, Coachella, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. I mentioned him. There's a, a dozen and a half uh, celebrities that have been turned into holograms. Those aren't holograms, actually. You have to be in one place looking directly at a 2D thing that simulates 3D. But um, there's that. There's the, there's the uh, deep nostalgia app is another example yeah, right. my heritage there, there's a lot of and and so one of the things that i think is interesting about the uh, let's go back to the kardashian hologram they felt the need to by they i mean kanye west felt the need to have uh kim kardashian's father robert kardashian say i'm watching over you i i see you oh. and this is also what happens with this japanese hologram it's you. a it's a company that gives you a an ar representation of your deceased loved ones at their gravesite, and they say, oh, we're watching over you, we're doing that. Those are the kinds of things a ghost would say, right? right? So we're gonna be creating these digital ghosts. And so the point of this article is to point out that this is coming, we're gonna have graves, you know, gravesite, uh, gravesite uh, AR, we're gonna have roadside where somebody got into an accident, those little things that they do with yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna be AR there. There's gonna be AR of dead people everywhere, ghosts basically. Uh, semi-transparent apparitions that represent the deceased. Um, and and I fear that just like the spiritualist movement of 100 years ago, which I detail in the article, there's going to be a lot of fraud and hoaxes and people making money basically yeah. tricking people who are unfamiliar with the technology into believing that they are, in fact, conjuring the dead. Conan Doyle, the author of Sherlock Holmes, very famously believed He, he believed his yeah, wife was a medium. Yeah. And, and uh, Harry Houdini... Went to great pains to debunk right. all of this. That's right. Yeah. So it was a big craze. It always happens during times of great trauma. And now we're having the technology of deep fakes, uh, augmented reality, and AI, where we, you know, it'll be a banality 20 years from now, 10 years from now, to have conversations with dead people like William Shatner, Tupac, mm. This is et a, the Japanese that, company spot message that you refer, refer to your, in, yeah. in your article. It's a AR. You That's hold right. up your phone and you'll see your past parents. Yeah. At their gravesite, speak to you. Imagine with with Apple's coming AR glasses or snaps. You, as you come, yeah, or snaps, <laughs> right? As you come closer to the grave, you see you, you'll see them standing there from a distance, oh, and you I can walk up, walk around them. To. Yes, we're going there, and and there's a cycle. Seems to be a psychological need for us to interact with our deceased loved ones. We talked about Oaxaca and Day of the Dead. Yeah. Day of the Dead. That's what it's all about. You go and have a mezcal with your deceased at loved the graveyard ones. Yeah. at the gravesite and also in the in the uh, ofrenda in your house it's a, you make an a altar shrine. Yeah. exactly but they will pour a shot of mezcal and put it in front of the photo of the dead loved one and you and sit then it with mysteriously them. disappears it, 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 <laughs> obviously it's like cookies later obviously that evening. <laughs> supernatural forces at work I have it, it did remind wow. me of reading your article did remind me of a, of a story from the old uh, american science fiction writer Roger Zelazny where a, a grandson comes and negotiates with the AI of his dead grandfather. Um, yeah, there's so, also a fabulous Black uh, Mirror episode, yes. right? Oh, where I'm you bring back your deceased 
partner. Yeah. Superman. Yeah. What 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 was the what was happening in the in the Fortress of Solitude? Dead old dad right. was giving yeah. advice, guiding. Jarrell was visiting. We're all going to have Superman's dad. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and so technology will enable this. Except for I'm my saying. kids who are stuck with me, I'm sorry <laughs> exactly. to say. But yeah, yeah, it's one of those things. <laughs> they wow, that's really an interesting that, insight. Yeah, I love that. It's coming, folks. You're exactly right. Yeah. I think you're There's exactly some people right. that would be capable, emotionally capable of maneuvering that sort of experience. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people, though, yep. that I can't imagine right. like that would be good for their, be mental, their mental nah, state. Move on. Like, they might think they want that, no. right. but then when faced that's with the, the, that's the That's the person, point of the Black Mirror episode. Absolutely. Yeah. You think you want that till you get it. Until right? you get it. And then you well, don't it's want like it. It's like the very concept of heaven itself. It's just like, oh, you you get together with your family right. and everything's great. I've been with my family. After a week, <laughs> we start arguing. This doesn't sound like heaven. Well, it would do that, too. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. Right. You get that point. I less. find I think psychologically you're exactly right. Yeah. And it may be, you know, we we're talking all the time about AR and it's hard to come up with an actual application yeah. that like you had those Google glasses and right. the, you know, is there what 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 is going to drive this? That might actually be what drives it. Yeah. And it may not be a positive thing at all. Uh don't you think Apple's probably already got something in the lab that uh that the I sold, yes. Yeah. Just you know, I so sold. I you're going to have you're going to have <laughs> app developers for these platforms, and they're going to be people. Whatever demand there is for, to to see ghosts of dead love, there's already a company in Florida. This guy will let you record your own 3D hologram, and you can do your own eulogy. Right? If you don't trust, I the was people. such a great guy. Yeah, boy. everybody loved me. I really yeah. miss myself. <laughs> I really, I wish I could be here with you right Who now. Who better to do this? Who better than me to talk so about me? I'm kind of like the unofficial obituary writer for the Reg, and because I do an awful lot of them, but it's just like the temptation to do your own obituary is like forged from the earliest. Yes, <laughs> steely-eyed missile man, Ian Thompson.